<laughs> Seahawks are now seven and seven, and they're up against it. They may not make it into the wild card field. And to make matters worse, Tyler Lockett suffered a broken finger on the final offensive drive of the night for the Seahawks. Pete Carroll said after the game that he could be out for the rest of the season. That's going to make it even more difficult for this team that started great and had that glow of a super of a not a Super Bowl, but a division champion. And now that's gone. And now they're in that cluster with the Giants and the Commanders and the Lions, for crying out loud, for that last playoff spot in the NFC. And it could be very difficult for the Seahawks to hang on. Hey, look, Mike, what's your reward for playing the Thursday night game, <clears throat> handing the 49, not handing, but you know, the 49ers winning the division, your arch rivals winning the division on your home field. What's your reward? Hey, great. We get to go to Kansas City on Christmas Eve. And all <laughs> that's at stake, all that's at stake is our playoff lives. And by the way, we may have to do it without our steadiest offensive player over the last six or seven years, Tyler Lockett. I, I mean, you know, it's been, and then after that, they get to come home and face one of the five toughest defenses in football, the Jets. I, I, I don't know, Mike. I, I just, this, this story for Seattle, in my opinion, really started to turn 8,000 miles away or whatever it was in Munich. Yes. When they laid an egg against the Buccaneers and lost their fourth game of the year. I, I, I think we were all thinking at that time, they went into that game, Mike, six and three. And we're all thinking, well, you know, they're the, they're going to be the six or seven seed at least, and they might even win this division. And so we're all, we're all thinking really positive thoughts uh, about the Seahawks, but all their warts really have emerged, you know, as they now have lost four of the last five, I think, and Gino has fallen to earth a little bit, but, but I do think this Mike overall, overall, if you are John Schneider and you're Pete Carroll, even if this season does end with a thud, you say, now, listen, let's, let's just be, let's be honest with ourselves. We traded Russell Wilson and our reward for trading Russell Wilson is finding out that we've got a decent quarterback in Geno Smith. And, and he just might be our guy. Who knows? But he might be our guy. And let's say he's not our guy. We're going to have two picks in the top 18, including one very high, Denver's pick. And we're going to have two high picks to basically either start to reconstruct this roster or to go looking for a young quarterback to battle Geno Smith. So don't cry for the Seattle Seahawks. I think there's a lot of great hope in Seattle right now. Now, this season's still better than anyone thought. They cashed out yeah. on Russell Wilson at the absolute right time, and now they can lay the foundation for the future. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.